W. Borum was in great demand. Preaching invitations were coming in continually from around Australia. He had recently been appointed as the chairman of the Australian Baptist Foreign Mission Committee and had a deep burden for the people of India. Borum felt deeply for India. He considered it one of the last great frontiers to be touched by the gospel. He felt that India was going to have an increasingly important role in how the world well, would be shaped. By the impact that Christ has made upon India in so few years, so short a span of years. Think of the antiquity of India when you think of the one year and the one year's work. India is India the angel. Other countries are old, Greece is old and Rome is old, but Greece and Rome are nothing to India, promulgating the gospel of Christ. And when that day comes, the new India, with the new and triumphant church in India, will be the finest monument, the perpetual mon monument, to the unselfish and Christ-like and consecrated work that has been done by missionaries like our own missionaries during these five days in which the foundations have been laid and the first triumph achieved. And he felt quite confident that India would one day become a Christian nation. 